Until today, you find that Karbala and the Holocaust both affect the lives of millions from two of the most important religions in the world today. The religion of Islam and the religion of Judaism continue to mourn and commemorate and grieve over the calamitous events that took place on the southern plains of Iraq and across Europe in World War II. And you find that these two communities continue to honor those who were killed horrifically. If you go anywhere in the world, you'll find that many members of the Muslim community continue to honor what took place on the plains of Karbala. Likewise, you find that if you go across the world, you'll see many members of the Jewish community who do not forget the crimes that took place across Europe in World War II. No doubt you find that both of these areas have to be dissected in depth. Sadly, nobody until today has done an examination of the similarities of what led to the Holocaust and an examination of the similarities of what led to Karbala. It's unbelievable that when a person examines the circumstances that led to the Holocaust and the circumstances that led to Karbala, how history repeats itself. As in, yes, Karbala took place in the formative period of the religion of Islam, in the first century of the religion of Islam. And the Holocaust took place just under a century ago. But when you examine the similarities between the two, it is quite unbelievable how Jewish studies and Islamic studies departments until today have not structured a course at their universities, as in the Quran, highlighted from the very beginning that we should always try and look for our similarities with the people of the book. We may have differences between Islam and Judaism, but we also have areas of similarity. And one of them is that when there is an area or an incident where we lost lives, where people were oppressed, where families were destroyed, where communities saw children massacred in front of them, then there is a need for us and the Jewish community to get together, as in today in Britain and across the world, there is heightened anti-Semitism as well as heightened Islamophobia.